What's good guys, Skip here, finally out of Doc's basement to record this OLT playoffs match between Karen and Googly. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to dive right into the teams here since Doc is too lazy to record. Um, so looking at Karen's team, uh, he's got a Charizard, could be X or Y, probably Zard Y just looks like it fits his team a bit better, even though there's no pursuit support. Uh, but if it is Y, it's a very big threat to Googly's team. As his only real switch in is Zygarde, and depending on its set, it can get bopped by either Solar Beam or HP Ice. If because of its Choice Band, it really can't take those hits well. Hippo is just rocks defensive with Whirlwind or Ice Fang to help out with Zygarde. Uh, Spideff Ferrothorn with Spikes. Um, defensive Zapdos definitely with Defog to help out the Charizard. Could be Heat Wave or HP Ice on this. I only say HP Ice because Zygarde's a pretty big threat to Karen's team, but it still could be Heat Wave to take the pressure off of Zard. And then the Tapu Lele and Greninja could either be Scarf or Z Move. Uh, either one of them, I'm not really sure. If I had to guess, I'd say the Lele Z Move, just for better breaking power versus fatter builds. And then just squ uh, Choice Scarf Greninja as a revenge killer. Okay, Googly Steam, just standard Mega Lot, probably AV Gear to take hits from Ash Ninja, locked into Dark Pulse, Tabu Lele, all that good stuff. Uh, probably Choice Band Zygarde, although it could be the Spadef sets with substitutes. Probably Choice Scarf Kartana as speed control because the Landers pretty much has to be rocks on this team. And then um, just uh, Defensive Rotom with Defog to round out the team help out with Heatran and uh, Water Locked Greninja. Alright, so Karen just leads off with Lele, Googly is to scout for Scarf, goes into Magirna. Karen makes a very solid double into Charizard as uh, Googly pivots into his Rotom right on the flamethrower, does 36, so it dies to Solar Beam at this range. So Karen's in a really good spot already, just because he has his Zard in and it's poised to get a kill right now, especially if it's HP Ice. To hit the Zygarde. Um, just looking at this matchup, Karen definitely has the upper hand. Zard gets a kill every time it comes in, and he has switches to everything on Googly's team uh, because Hippo covers Zygarde, Magirna, kind of unless it's unless it's like Shift Gear offensive Magirna. I doubt it. It takes hits from Low Punny pretty easily, and he is Zapdos for the Kartana. Alright, so he pivots into Zygarde on the Solar Beam, takes 51%, so <laughs> it just looks like this is might just be a mop, just because Charizard can kill Zygarde here. If he doesn't want to eat a Choice Banded hit, he can switch out, um, but I think Karen's just going to claim his kill here, because now he just, once Zygarde's dead, he just clicks Flamethrower and kind of destroys him. Besides that, this is the only real threat to Googly's team uh, because Magirna deals uh, with Lele and Greninja pretty well. Greninja's well checked if it's Protean or Ash. I don't think it's Ash on this team though. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be uh, for Karen. All he has to really do is uh, bring in Z uh, the Zard safely and not sack it for no reason and he does pivot into hippo not wanting to eat a, an attack googly goes right for the thousand arrows so maybe i don't know the calc off the top of my head i can do it on the side here but maybe that zard is um is actually modest and he wants us uh not eat a hit from that zygarde i'll do a quick calc right now um let's see but yeah, he, Karen just goes into his Hippo because it can deal with the Zygarde pretty well. He'll probably just go for Rocks here, yep. If he is Whirlwind or Ice Fang, he'll go for that now. Could be Toxic as well. Um, but he'll probably just go for the Whirlwind. It should be Whirlwind on this, I think, for the setup Zygarde. Uh, plus one Arrows does not do too much. He, slack -offs to, or he slacks off to stay healthy. Oh, let's see. Charizard... Uh, Charizard Y. Let's see how much Solar Beam is doing to Zygarde. 
Uh, so Hippo goes right for the Whirlwind and brings out the Landris, which goes for the Rocks. Um, and Hippo gets its health back. It can stay in. It can Whirlwind again if he wants to, or Earthquake here. Yeah, it just Whirlwinds again. Brings in the Zagar, which is really good for Karen because he can just Whirlwind or Slack off again. Um, but yeah, Timid Zard to no bulk Zygarde does 52 max so it could be a slightly bulky Zygarde with modest uh, Charizard which is kind of interesting <coughs> excuse me alright Hippo goes for the Earthquake on the Zygarde as Googly brings out his Rotom uh, I don't know why he didn't just Whirlwind there but it's fine as Rome goes right for the Volt Switch Expecting the switch into Ferrothorn. <clears throat> um, so Googly could bring out his Low Punny here or his Kartana or potentially Zygarde if it's sub. But likely the Low Punny or Kartana to come out here. Uh, but Karen has checks to both of those. But if it is Choice Band Kartana and goes for the knockoff onto the um, onto the Zapdos on the switch, that could be problematic for Karen because of rocks up and he has to get rid of rocks as well um if it's sd kartana plus 2z does kill zapdos depending on the set um <coughs> excuse me but yeah it does just bring out the low punny he'll go right for the hjk here or double into the kartana on the hippo if this is sd he'll go for that here uh, Karen should not sack his Hippo to a Leaf Blade, uh, even though Googly is not going to go for the Leaf Blade here. Um, Karen has no reason to stay in. He could either sack or go right into Zapdos. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see what Googly's set is. I do think it should be Choice Scarf, so if Karen does think that, he can just go into his, uh, into his Zapdos and recover. And then later he can come in and defog on this. Um, but he brings in Ferrothorn. As he goes right for the knockoff, I think... Um, yeah, so he didn't want his Zapdos getting knocked, which is still pretty smart. Because depending on the Kartana set, which I will count just to double check right now. Uh, Scarf to Ferrothorn. Uh... Scarf knockoff to a standard Ferrothorn does 34 max, so that's Bandit Kartana. As he just sacks the Ferrothorn to that, which is fine. He brings Karen brings in his Greninja here. Um, if he's Protean, he'll just go for an Ice Beam, I think. Um, if this is Protean Z move, which it could be, Ice Beam into Z all out pummeling might be able to knock out the Rotom at this range. Um, if not, he, if he is Ash, which I, again, I don't think he is, uh, he can just throw off an attack here, but I do think he's Protean. He's, I still think he's Scarf, so he'll just throw off an Ice Beam, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Googly should not stay in here. This Kartana is still a very big threat to, threat to Karen, and I think he needs this. So he can pivot into Magirna if he wants. Or if he still wants to keep that healthy for his, for Karen's Alele, he can do that. Yup, he just sacks his Rotom. Um, as he goes right for the Ice Beam, uh, it does 13%, so Rotom still does eat. Uh, Rotom will probably Bolt Switch here. Uh, even if he has Defog, he won't go for it because he needs to pressure the Zard and keep it in range of Kartana's attack. Um, but yeah, Greninja... Greninja is important to keep, so he just goes Lele. Lele is not all too useful. Oh, he actually does go for the Defog. I guess he just wants to prevent any hazards damage, because every time Zard comes in, it still gets a kill anyways, though. I don't know if I agree with that play, but I definitely understand where Googly's coming from with that. Uh, he wants to keep his checks healthy, as he brings in the Magirna on the Tapu Lele Psy Shock. Um, just spam Psyshock, he doesn't really need the Lele for too too much as it is AV gear confirmed. 
As he goes right for the Iron Head, doesn't quite knock him out. Looks like he just wants to chip the Magirna down. Uh, so he's going to keep his sacks, which is smart. As uh, Googly makes a pretty solid play of Bolt Switching there. Covered him staying in because he would have gotten momentum. And it covered him making any sort of switch. Except for Hippo. But I don't think he was going Hippo there. But yeah, it just goes right into his Zapdos. If this is HP Ice, he'll go for it here. If not, then he'll switch out into his Hippowdon. Uh, as for Googly, he could go for a DD. Oh, it is HPI. So he bops the Zygarde there, which is really, really nice for Karen. Um, yeah, so I still think Karen has the upper hand here since nothing can really come in on the Zapdos right now and beat it. Unless it's Z Continental Crush Landorus, which I don't think it is. He just goes to low punny, but uh, Karen, even though if it's defensive Zapdos, it could beat low punny, he should always go hit pout on. Uh, he only really needs to pout on for this now. Yep, he just goes into it. He can get rocks up too. Uh, as Googly just goes for the fake out, which is interesting. Uh, just trying to get Chip on the Zapdos, hoping he kind of, hoping Karen would choke so that he could come in later with his Kartana. But he's just going for returns, trying to keep the hip out on low. Hippo just goes for rocks. Um, Karen will just recover here probably. As Googly makes a solid play into his Landers. Um, yeah, so I don't think. Yeah, so I think Landers will just go for its rocks here. If Karen wants to bring in uh, his Zap yeah, Zapdos or his Charizard here, he can do that. This Zapdos should be Defog, so he'll probably just Fog here. I don't think he's Continental Crush Landers. Uh, so I don't think he can threaten the Zapdos. But, um, yeah, I still think Karen's in a good position as long as he defogs here. See, Ghouly sacks his Rotom, gets, pops the berry, as Karen just goes right for the defog. Um, actually, Rotom's a threat. Rotom's a pretty big threat to Karen's team, so he's forced to stay in, because he can't bring in Hippo. Lele dies, Gren dies to Volt Switch, and he doesn't want his Zard to get weakened. But yeah, Rotom's a pretty big threat to Karen. Uh, if it, yeah, just because he can't really deal with it now that his Ferrothorn's gone. But um, Zapdos can muscle through it. I mean, Googly's in a really tough spot here. He has nothing really to bring in on the Zapdos. Um, as he just goes into low punny, hoping that he can break through it, but and that Karen doesn't switch out. But he's still has a whole ass of pout on there he literally has no reason not to go into it as googly goes right for the return karen's just gonna throw off a slack off here uh he has no reason to uh stealth rock right now he just earthquakes which is actually pretty interesting because depending on hjk rolls that could have two ko'd i think based on the return damage but Landers just goes for the HP Ice on the Zapdos switch. And Karen, Karen's actually in kind of a tough spot now. Because if he roosts and he's faster, Landers can Earthquake. But he does have HP Ice, so he can just go for that too. But at the same time, now he's going to be super weakened for the Kartana. So this actually puts Karen in a tough position. Not entirely sure why he went into Zapdos hard there, but I understand. Did he Earthquake? Okay, just went for HPI, so Karen's in a good spot now. Googly didn't make the play that he needed to. Um, but yeah. Or wait, is this Scarf Rocks Landers? Eh, yeah, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. <laughs> Never mind. My bad, my bad. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Brings in the Magirna, I'll probably just Volt Switch on out. I mean, Zapdos just walls this uh, Googly's team. So it's like, kind of tough for, kind of tough for Googly to win here as Karen can just pivot back out. Uh, he just stays in though on the low punny. Doesn't really give a fuck, which honestly is fine. Zapdos still eats hits from this pretty easily. He just kind of clicks buttons now. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty... This should be a wrap. Um, Karen really has no reason to switch out. He can just roost off the damage here. 
Um, let's see. Uh, Google Evolt switches out again. I mean, it's just kind of wash, rinse, repeat at this point, so it's kind of kind of boring. What's the chat saying? Um, oh, they're talking about a different game. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, this game's pretty much over, I think. Uh, if Googly HJK'd here, he didn't. Um, oh shit. Ignore that. Sorry, Doc. Very unprofessional. But hey, that's what ha happens when I've been living in your basement for like 10 years. Oh shit. Alright, so he brings out Zapdos on the Lando. As Landers just goes for HP Ice. Um, yeah, it's the same things happening over and over. Uh, Doc, how long is this recording? Uh, yeah, so Zapdos. Or wait, Landers didn't die the HP Ice there? Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, this is a. There's still some time left in this game. Not sure if anything happens, but now that his Zapdos is low, um, Karen's in a kind of tough spot, honestly. I don't really know why he kept switching out on the Landers into his Zap and he let it get so low. Um, but yeah. I think Zapdos dies to Choice Banded Knockoff here from Kartana, so if he wants to go into that. Uh, Kartana is a pr very big threat to Karen's team at this point. He can't really switch anything into it. Uh, he doesn't want his lefties getting knocked off from um, Hippo. He could probably just sack Lele after. He doesn't need Lele for anything uh, because Magirna is already pretty much dead. Uh, everything kind of kills Rotom at this point, and Low Punny and the. Uh, Low Pony and Kartana do out speed if it's not Scarf. Um, but yeah, Ghoulie's probably throwing off a Calc here, uh, just to make sure. But he was pretty smart by trying to keep the Zapdos low as possible. Uh, yeah. But the timer is running running out. Uh, I still don't see too much of a way Ghoulie can win this game just because the Zard is still in the back, like. But, and depending on what move Kartana goes for here, uh, Karen can just go into something else appropriately. I Greninja saw its speed since I'm pretty sure the Gren is Scarf. Um, but yeah, Kartana can just attack here. It does kill just because he brought it out. Um, let's see, Karen. Does Karen need this? I, I think, yeah, he should keep it in Sack the, yeah, sack the Lele, right? Sacks it to the knock, he'll bring out his Gren here and go for Ice Beam. Or U-Turn if he has it. Just because Googly won't sack his Kartana here, it doesn't make too much sense, but Ice Beam's a pretty catch-all play. Uh, because the Rotom is low, but yeah. If... Yeah, Greninja always outspeeds because this is confirmed choice ban Kartana. He brings in Charizard, which I guess doesn't die to plus one banded knockoff. Which, I'm kind of surprised that it lives. He might have bulk investment. Uh, just based on that Zygarde damage before. But, um... Hmm. But he could, he could still just be Timid Zard, and that could have just been no bulk DD. Like Z-move Zygarde or something. He goes for the knockoff, does a thousand percent, but doesn't quite kill. But he's pretty smart for going Zard if he knew that it lived, just because um, the only thing he can bring out after is Low Punny, which he is a hippo for. Uh, or he can sack uh, Zapdos if he doesn't want that, since Hippo beats this guy's team now. Uh, depending on how much Hydro Pump is doing. But he still has enough sack, so it doesn't really matter. I, I, Karen just wins this game pretty easily at this point. Um, yeah, he just goes hard hit pout on, which is fine. Oh, he hit returned instead of HJKing, fishing for crit. Um, but yeah. Hippo can get up rocks here so he can whirlwind and start chipping down his team. Or he can slack off to stay healthy as he does slack off. Um, uh, Karen has no reason to stay in here. I think he can just go into Zapdos, yeah. 
Uh, it shouldn't die to this. Yeah. And he dies to sand though, right? Because of the the. Right, right, right. Hmm. Brings in Zard. Just clicks flamethrower here. Gets a kill. Uh, Googly shouldn't sack the Rotom since it's the only thing he has to kill everything. Like, if Rotom was healthier, it could win the game, but yeah, it just sacks McGurn. It brings in Low Punny. And yeah, it looks like Karen just wins this game. He has more sacks. And Low Punny can never beat him because of Poudon. But yeah, it looks like a wrap at this point. Uh, so yeah. Karen should be able to take game one here, which means that they, if he can win the next game, that's it for this series. Um, but yeah, Let's see, Hippowdon can just slack off here, honestly, if he want. yeah, just play it safe at this point, because Rotom's getting chipped down by sand anyways, so you can just sack here, and then you're good. You don't really need to stay in, or you could stay in if you're Grenon's Scarf, um, but yeah, <sighs> let's see. And Googly should just go for Hydro Pump here, because uh, if he can get rid of Hit Powdown, then Low Pony can potentially win. But yeah, I mean this game's pretty much a wrap. Like I've been saying, pretty much from the beginning. Uh, Googly played his Kartana pretty well, but he did sack it to the. Uh, Charizard, maybe he didn't have enough time to calc it, or maybe it was a roll. And if he just went for it, then he would have been in a good spot. But I'm not entirely sure why Karen did go into Zard risking a potential crit. Because that would have put him in a worse position, I think. Depending on his grand set, of course. But it looks like Karen's calcing here, seeing if maybe trying to see if a uh, pump into an attack from low punny kills him but I don't know he doesn't need to stay in here he can just sack and then yeah oh Rotom just full switches so yeah this game's pretty much a wrap because now Rotom is guaranteed in range of ice beam from Greninja so yeah I don't know I don't know if crit pump would have knocked Hippo out that would have put Karen in a pretty bad position um, but yeah. Rotom's probably just gonna go for the pump here. I don't see why Googly would Volt Switch again. Unless he's, yeah. This game's a wrap. Alright, let's, let's hurry this up. Let's hurry this up. Um, I believe, what other games are going on at this point? He just stays in on the Hydro Pump. He's just trying to uh, chip down the road on with sand. I guess he calced and saw that he can stay out of range later. But yeah, he just sacks the Zard. Oh, oh my god. He is the greatest player of all time. Karen Smith, greatest player of all time. He just knew. He just knew. He just knew. Oh my god. <laughs> the dominance. That's how you assert dominance right there. Man. <laughs> Man, Googly is, Googly is shook. Googly is shook. That's definitely how you go. And you want to be in the next game. Just shake up your opponent. Be like, oh shit, you are. I'm in your head. He's just in his head. There's, there's no other way. Karen Smith is the greatest player of all time. Gone, man, man. All right, all right. So he just goes into Gren. I honestly don't know why, cause. Like, he could have just gone Hippo and not revealed the Scarf, but, like, whatever. Okay. Just U-turns. And, yeah, this game's a wrap. I don't know if Doc's going to get mad if I, like, end this game right now. But, yeah. All right, thank you for watching. And if you made it this far, you're cool. And goodbye.